Baba. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm good. A couple of questions. Which ones would you prefer? Sneakers or loafers? I've been using sneakers for a long time. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you were to go to a shop and you want to pick an impromptu gift for Mama Aida, would it be flowers or chocolates? She loves flowers. Okay. And she likes, uh, likes uh, red colors. So for you, a realistic Monainchi deliverable, would it be the 6,000 uh, social welfare or a wheelbarrow? Of course, um, the wheelbarrow thing doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Uh, I don't know who actually conceived it uh -huh. uh, and how it's meant to help the people. True. But, um, you know, we are talking about a serious issue, okay. a social program. It's a social protection program. Yes. And this is something which has uh, been a matter of debate in many societies. Right. How is to deal with the poor of the poor yeah. in a society? <laughs> so to me, it really it does not make sense. Okay. Even the so-called bottom-up mm. approach, yeah. I, I, I don't even understand it. Okay. You know, uh, I was we were talking about dealing with the society in, in, in totality. Yes. You see, it's not a, a, a trickle down. We understand. Mm. That actually uh, helps to marginalize certain part of the country. True. But uh, you're not solving it with the so-called bottom-up. You just need to ensure that um, you are fair and there's equity in sharing of resources across the country. You want things to change, but then you find that uh, there are Many other factors conspire to make you almost helpless in changing the, the situation. I, I am hungry, angry that our people still live in such abject poverty. Mm -hmm. So many years since independence. And I believe that this situation is actually correctable. And that uh, we've done mistakes in the past. And that is what is responsible for where we are. Given the opportunity to choose one ta, either Kayole, Legureti, or Gedurai, which place could you choose at least to live in? Um, of course, Legureti is near me. Uh, <laughs> I would be able to food to keep you up on Dani, or Kulalanini? Maybe to keep you up on Dani. Nakula is again a Gedari. <laughs> so um if you're having fish, what what would you rather have? Fresh fish or dry fry fish? I prefer dry fry generally, yeah. but uh there are times when I also love fresh uh, fish. Okay. Depends how it is cooked. Yeah. My, my mom was a very good fish cook. Mm -hmm. She knew, for example, how to select fish. She knew which fish is fresh, yes. where to touch to know whether that fish is fresh or not fresh. Okay. And uh, once she selected it, then she knew how to prepare it. So if not Kenya, which country in Africa would you live in or would you want to stay, stay in? I think Kenya number one, number two, and number three. Yes. Uh, Kenya, 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 Kwanzaa. Kenya, Kenya, Kwanzaa. Okay, tea or coffee? I'm a tea drinker. Uh, um, although Kenya produces uh, a very good quality c coffee, me, like most of other Kenyans, I'm a tree drinker. Of course, you know, I'm, I like reggae. And uh, as we said, uh, reggae is on, on uh, half time. Mm -hmm. And you <laughs> come again. Okay. Yeah. But uh, they can play reggae, any, any song of reggae. Yeah. And they can also play my Berafonte. Uh, you know, um, the Jamaican farewell. And the way with the nuts are gay, and the sun is shining daily on the mountain top. 
I took a trip on a sailing ship. When I reached Jamaica, I made a stop for that. Sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a days. My head is down, I have to turn me around. I have to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. Who is the fifth president of Kenya? I didn't know. I think uh, I saw him uh -huh. sometimes back. Uh -huh. He's got different names. One was, he was called Tinga. Uh -huh. At the time, he was called Aguambo. Uh -huh. At the time, he was called Baba. Uh -huh. I forgot his other names. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Baba. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Why did, did you ask, Andrew, may you have my name? <laughs> <laughs>